Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? This is Miss Gail over here at Georgia Peach Nut. Thank you for joining me today. I'm not going to be out here long because these bees, these bees have no respect. <laughs> I was asked by one of my subscribers about maybe a month ago, and I'm just now getting to her because I didn't see her question because life was lifing. If it was not too late, she saw my video when I planted the zucchini and squash in this container. There were three that I germinated from seed using the paper tower method. And she asked a question because she is in zone 8A as I am in zone 8A. If it was not too late at that particular point in time to plant squash in zone 8A because we had a scheduled or we have a scheduled um, frost date of November 13th. And she's right, we do. But you can plant squash that is called yellow, yellow squash or zucchini that is considered summer squash. And what you always should do is check the back of the package of your seeds. Now this is, I think this is the summer squash that I, that I planted. I don't know if y'all can see that. And you check the back of your seed package shows you the zone you look for where your state is and it tells you your zone your growth zone there and then it tells you what month span of time that you can plant and i believe that this is uh march through september and i planted these i believe the end of september or the beginning of october it was the end of september and they have a harvest date of let me look and make sure i get to get it right 50 to 55 days. That's about a month and a half. So yes, you can. You can always check your, always check to see when your first frost is. And when you check for that, you count backwards. So I always was, uh, it's November 13th. So I will go back to September, I mean to October 13th, that's one month, to September 13th, that is two months. And yeah, you have time, that's 30 days. Now I'm not counting the time it takes for it to germinate, but squash germinates within a couple of days or so. I'm looking at all this squash that it's making, look at here. Look at here. Tons of squash coming in. Birds came and ate off the top of this one. I know they did. They're so bad. Let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Yeah. They picked. They, they picked into that. Uh-huh. They won't pick until now. I, I guarantee you. But you see, as you can see, it is prolific. It is growing tons and tons of squash. Now, I have squash and zucchini in here together. So, I will probably have some cross-pollination. I don't mind. But all that. See all that? vigorously coming in vigorously coming in we have had an early frost a couple of times and it still survived it still survived and I believe it's because I didn't cut any of the leaves back which is protecting the squash itself from any frost that comes normally I would say yeah let me cut some of the leaves back and I'm tempted to do that but I, I'm thinking, no, no, I shouldn't do that because I, uh, you know, want to just protect the squash as long as I can. So I'm not going to cut the leaves back and expose the flowers. The, the bees are finding the flowers fine. They're not having any problem, trust me. They were running me all over the place out here today. So uh, I saw them all down in here. So they're going to find the flowers to, um, to pollinate. So that's not a problem, but yes, to get, to get back to her original, Miss Dee Dee, this is for you. Step back and let you see what I see. Let you see all down in here. And you know, you just go, I say give it a try, anything a try. A man may say something to give you something as a guideline, but you wanna still go on ahead and try something out that goes against what they say do. Go on ahead and give it a try. That That is prolific right there. Look at this, a lot of squash over here. And guess what? No vine borers, no squash bugs. 
no pest and that's what I was shooting for so okay I hope this answers your question and anyone else's question about whether or not you can plant squash late I'm gonna do this again this is gonna be my my to go to late July August September for me I did September because I've done the July before and the squash buds and vine boards were still out here so I just did uh, the beginning of September and they, they were gone they were gone so for micro zone yes it's where it works so anyway I'm not gonna be on here any longer I got a lot of work to do and some more videotaping to do but you guys take care uh, I hope this answers anybody's questions about how late you can uh, plant squash. I can only speak for Grow Zone 8A in my area. It works perfect. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment. I'll see you guys in the garden. Take care. Bye-bye. Now I got to find the button.